Good, good to see you, Stephanie. Tamika, good to see you. Maria Hillis. Maria, good to see you. And where are you guys from? We're from the U.S. Virgin Islands. The U.S. Virgin Islands, and you guys are the rocket team for what school? Christian Junior High School. Outstanding. Uh, four years ago, I set a national goal to provide 98% of Americans with high-speed wireless internet so that any young scientist or entrepreneur could access the world's information. Today, I can announce that we have achieved that goal, and we did it ahead of schedule. Uh, that's a big deal. Second, to make sure that we keep expanding broadband across the country, I'm creating a new team called the Broadband Opportunity Council, made up of leaders across government who will work with business and communities to invest in next generation internet nationwide, uh, because this is not just going to be a key for your ability to learn and create, it's also a key for America's ability to compete and lead in the world. Uh, number three, no young person in America should miss out on the chance to excel in these fields just because they don't have the resources. So five years ago, we launched a campaign called Educate to Innovate to help more of our students explore science, technology, engineering, and math. Today, I'm pleased to announce $240 million in new contributions from businesses, from schools, from foundations across the country to help kids learn in these STEM fields. So we are very, very proud to make that announcement. We don't want to just increase the number of American students in STEM. We want to, we want to make sure everybody's involved. We want to increase the diversity of STEM programs as well. And that's been a theme of this science fair. We get the most out of all our nation's talent. And that means reaching out to boys and girls, men and women of all races, all backgrounds. Science is for all of us. And we want our classrooms and labs and workplaces and media to reflect that.